Melting ice sheets and glaciers are destroying polar bears' habitat, while threats of rising seas worry people living near the coast. But today's warming is nothing compared to 90 million years ago when dinosaurs roamed a climate researchers call super greenhouse. The oceans were also much warmer than they are today, uh, and they were sort of equivalent to your hot tub, uh, with temperatures uh, up in the 90 degree uh, Fahrenheit range. So geoscientist Richard Norris was skeptical when he read research showing that sea levels at that time went down instead of up. To investigate, he and his colleagues studied sediment cores from the Atlantic Ocean, focusing on the composition of fossils from prehistoric ocean microorganisms. And that compositional information tells us a lot about the kind of world in which those uh, microorganisms lived, and therefore the uh, characteristics of the ocean itself, what the, how hot the ocean was, uh, how much ice was growing on high latitudes. As they wrote in the journal Science, their results indicate that large ice sheets were in fact growing during the super greenhouse period. Norris says this challenges the assumption that a warming world always leads to melting polar ice. Under a global warming scenario, you might actually build up ice masses in some places. Norris says that while this mystery deserves further study, his findings do not make today's warming world any less of a threat. I'm Brad Closer.